The transmission in your car transfers power from the engine to the wheels by setting the most appropriate gear for your driving speed. With an automatic transmission, the driver doesn't have to shift gears manually. Through various sensors, the car's computer determines when it's time to shift and sends an electronic signal to activate or deactivate the appropriate gear. The transmission is a system of gears and levers that transfers power to a car's drive wheels while allowing the engine to operate in its most efficient range or power band. It's assembled inside an aluminum housing called the transmission case. At the heart of the transmission are three sets of planetary gears, the term for smaller gears rotating around a larger central gear. The first gear set is called the final drive. It harmonizes the engine speed and driving speed and is attached to the differential, a component that lets the wheels move at different speeds so the car can turn. They install the steel parts connected to the shift lever, which puts the car into drive, reverse or park. First, the manual detent lever. Then the forward clutch support. This piece protruding from it is called the park pawl. The actuator rod connects the detent lever to the park pawl, which locks a gear that immobilizes the car when you shift into park. Now for the transmission's five clutches. Clutches either let gear sets rotate or lock them, depending on what the transmission needs to do. This clutch is called the forward clutch. It enables the car to advance when you shift into drive by moving the two remaining planetary gear sets, called the input gear set and the reaction gear set. Two clutches, installed as one unit, go in next. The coast clutch controls both the input and reaction gear sets, enabling the car to coast in low gear and progressively brake in higher gears when you take your foot off the gas. The other one is called the direct clutch, which locks the two gear sets so there's no reduction in speed. Next, the reverse clutch. When in reverse, it moves the reaction gear set, enabling the car to back up. A clutch is made up of layers of metal and friction material, such as resin impregnated paper. The transmission's last clutch is called the second clutch. It uses both the input and reaction gear sets to switch the transmission into second, third and fourth gears. With all the gear sets and clutches now in place, workers can connect the transmission to the rest of the car's electronics. These cables are known as the harness. Next comes the drive chain and two sprockets. This hookup is the critical link between the transmission's gear sets and its torque converter. The torque converter is the component that transfers power from the engine to the transmission. The sprockets, along with the final drive, convert the engine speed to the appropriate transmission gear. The car's computer directs this hydraulic control system to change gears as needed. The computer triggers an electronic switch, called a solenoid, to open a specific control valve. This applies hydraulic pressure to engage the clutch around the relevant planetary gears. The system releases hydraulic pressure to disengage the clutch and lock the gears. Now the final connection for the shifting mechanism, linking this manual valve to the detent lever. The shift lever moves the detent lever which makes the valve direct hydraulic pressure accordingly. This steel bar, called the output shaft, directs transmission power from the final drive at one end of the transmission to the driver's side front wheel at the other end. Next, they install springs and servos, part of the hydraulic control system that help engage and disengage the clutches smoothly. This tube assembly goes in next. The control valves route hydraulic fluid through these tubes to the different clutches. Now the torque converter. It spins a shaft that turns those sprockets and drive chain we saw earlier. A steel bar called the stub shaft is the final link, sending transmission power from the final drive and differential to the front wheel on the passenger side.